there's a perfectly understandable reason why Palestinian Arabs wouldn't want Jews, because in their minds, and not irrationally, these Jews intended to create a Jewish state which would quite likely have resulted in their expulsion. I'm a very generous person. I've actually taken in a homeless person for two and a half years. But wait, 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 wait. Hang what? on, hang on. Slow down. This is good. This is a. Did I miss here? I need to make sure I heard this correctly. This is amazing in light of what came out today. Hang on. Palestinian strikes me as completely ridiculous. Aw. Number two. <laughs> Stop interrupting. As Moeen said, there's a perfectly understandable reason why Palestinian Arabs wouldn't want Jews because. In their minds, and not irrationally, these Jews intended to create a Jewish state which would quite likely have resulted in their expulsion. I'm a very generous person. I've actually taken in a homeless person for two Okay, 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 okay. Bear with me one second, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something, okay? For people who haven't seen it, I'm sure a lot of you have. Where is this coming from also? Daedalus, please, for the love of God, just hang on one sec, okay. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> speak of the devil. Okay. So <laughs> this is, uh, this is Norman Finkelstein. Thank you, Loner Box. I'll, I'll read it for you. Though, it's okay. really Did, weird that he mentions this. this like is, genuinely, yes. it's fucking weird. Like. It's almost I'm like he's perplexed. I, like I'm not one to psychoanalyze, but it's almost like he wants someone to go find out what he's talking about and make him look like a shithead. It's very strange to bring it up. This is Norman Finkelstein to his neighbors in his uh, in his apartment suite. To Carol and Roberto Havolanos, I'm assuming. You've got two days to move, or the trouble. I'm going to say it in his voice. You've got two days to move, or the troubles begin. You committed the biggest mistake of your life yesterday. I had two guests in my apartment. I'm not going to do that. One of them, a professor of criminology. They listened to the noise for four hours. At midnight, we all went together to the police precinct where we all spoke to several police officers. The police are now fully informed about the situation. They urged me to call 311 the moment the noise starts again. I also contacted Child Protection Services again. I already spoke to several of your friends in the elevator on the way to your party about you. I know, about, I know your places of employment, which I will contact this week, but here's your big problem. On Tuesday, August 18th, I will contact Immigration and Naturalization Services, INS. I will inform them of, quote-unquote, young doctor. Not so, Eric Carol, sorry, that was a joke. Carol uh, Jovalano's former, quote-unquote, job at the fake, quote-unquote, medical office next door, run by the Russian mafioso fake, quote-unquote, doctor. I know exactly what was really going on there. Faking a medical establishment in New York is a criminal offense and grounds for immediate deportation. Carol and Roberto Havilano's papers and your babysitter's papers better be in order when the INS pays a visit. You now have two days to quickly and quietly vacate the apartment. If you make any noise while moving, I will immediately contact the police again and tell them about Carol Havilano's past. I warned you in the last letter. I knew about the illicit activity, quote-unquote. I don't know why he's doing that in quotes. You chose to carry on like animals. You will now pay the price. This is interesting language given what we've heard in this debate. I warned you that you will never win against me. You should have Googled my name, Norman Finkelstein. <laughs> and gone to YouTube and entered my name. Now. I, I think telling, <laughs> telling anyone to Google you is the beginning of like, just no. Do you know who the this fuck is... I am? Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's going to burn your house down. Oh my god. Oh, I I need to I need to do a dramatic reading of this on stream or, or on we a need, video. We need we need we need we need an appropriate muppet for this, not Kermit. Uh Gonzo, no. <laughs> Finkelstein. Wait, wait. Finkelstein actually hired that homeless person to harass his Hispanic neighbors. That's a joke, right? That's got to be a joke. That's a joke. That's 100% a joke. Okay, the noise stopped three days for three days, so I didn't call immigration and naturaliza naturalization services. But now it is starting again. If you don't stop the noise, I am calling the police. But this will be the last call to the police. You will end up either deported, arrested, or without your child. You decide. Oh my God! Too bad. This is Apes, horrific. You are not sleeping tonight. 
This guy's a fucking nutball. I can just see Norman Finkelstein being the guy in the apartment who bangs his broom on the ceiling. I'm glad that sentence ended the way it did. Yeah, this is good guy Norman Finkelstein housing the homeless. <laughs>